Phoenix High School consists of some 1,000 11 to 18 year olds and uh, we're situated on a white city estate in West London. It's the sixth most deprived area in the country. At uh, age 11 we do have a 25% obesity rate of children and it also has the worst dental hygiene record in London. There is a great need to teach local community members about the importance of food. The farm started in 2007 and it was a piece of land that was left over from construction that we had done on the site. We decided we would create this farm to educate our young people but also to the wider adult community could actually get a much better sense of the journey that their food takes from the ground to the table. We want to divert as many of our parents and our young people away from junk food towards food which is nutritious. As long as a school it's very business-like and very forward-thinking about how it can use that green space. As far as the core school budget, very little of that would need to be spent on. We had to bring soil in, so we had lots of paths put in. And of course, there's all costs associated with this. We worked with sort of local builders who were looking to do some sort of charity work, sourcing our fruit and vegetables. We worked very closely with a local charity called Hammersmith Community Garden Association. So William was very good at badgering the council. They provided us with the greenhouses. We have a huge amount of volunteers, which we couldn't run the farm without that. We have social corporate responsibility. So the BBC, L'Oreal, 15 or 20 people from a department would come down and help us put the pond in. A lot of what we do on the farm, we actually fundraise for. Salt Yard Group have just made us their charity, so we're now going to hopefully be able to build an outdoor kitchen out there. We've just got money from local food funding, which at the moment, that's paying for our food grower and our nutritionist. We've got lots of potatoes, onions, carrots, peas, beans. We grow pumpkins and squashes, tomatoes, aubergines, cucumbers, lots of lovely salads chilies, grapevines, we've got raspberries, blueberry bushes, medicinal herbs and culinary herbs. We grow sort of edible flowers as well which is interesting for the kids to learn about. We've also got some chickens and some rabbits and we've just got a beehive. It is about giving inner city young people an experience that they have probably never ever had. Because of the area that we're in you do find that a lot of young people don't have pets so they don't know anything about animals. All rabbits are quite fast because they don't like you holding them. But when, it, when you go quite slow and you're calm, then it won't, be, it won't get scared. Put your Hold hand it. under its legs and put, lean it on your other arm, then it won't drop. They love it. They, they love getting their hands dirty. Their favourite things are watering, digging. Yesterday we came to the farm, we planted potatoes and we're going to have a competition. Whoever gets the most weight in potatoes wins the prize. We have a chicken place over there and we take their eggs home and try them and see how they taste. We've done little cooking projects where we've collected eggs from our hens and then we've made scrambled eggs and we've put some like herbs in and some chilli. You could just come and just be calm and play with animals and because they make you calm. These young people are sort of living in flats. Now the White City Estate is six storeys. A lot of competition for space uh, to be heard. So to be able to go down there and it, you know in the middle of it you could be in the country. It's just fantastic, it is calming, and that's what we want to do with some of our hyperactive youngsters, just chill. We have an external classroom that's all Wi-Fi enabled that suits 32 young people. Any subject, if you think about it, can actually be incorporated to that sort of outdoor learning space. Students who might struggle in a sort of traditional learning environment, when they go out to the farm, is that they quite often thrive. It's really fun actually, to just play and work with nature and all that, it's quite fun. Food from the farm is actually brought into the school and we invite the parents in to sample it. They would come onto the farm and they'll collect some herbs, maybe collect some vegetables, then they'll take it to the food technology block upstairs. After a cooking class, we would take them to the supermarket and show them food labels, what to buy, how to buy it. Some of the parents have a bad feeling of coming into a school, so to get parents to come in the door is fantastic. We now work with Dutch College Cornwall 
and that's a agricultural college. Youngsters in year 10 doing work experience, now, which is just a fabulous uh, opportunity. They've never really had many experiences. Certainly a lot of our students haven't even been to London. And when you think that we're three miles away from uh, Marble Arch, that's, you know, that, that tells a story. You know, they're mucking out animals, they're milking cows and stuff, they're messing around with sheep. One, they're learning to drive a tractor. There was a young man there who'd never been out of London, it's starting to get dark, and he turned round to one of the instructors from Dutch College, and he said, this is the first time ever I've seen stars. The opportunity to be in those wide expanse there, and then to be doing those activities, yeah? For some, one or two of them has been life-changing. It's about taking kids away from their known world, away from the parameters in which they normally operate, yeah? And give them challenges beyond their comfort zone. And many, many of the youngsters respond to that. The attainment, the attendance of the school has gone through the roof. 14 years ago, this was, according to some newspapers, the worst school in, in England. 2011, this was the number one contextual value-added school in the country. I do believe that the farm has really made a difference. Oh, the entire school community are proud of it. The governors are proud of it. The teachers are proud of it. The kids, the parents. The entire community is proud of that. It's vibrant. It's fantastic. And it's on the White City Estate in the middle of London. I think it's brilliant. I love it. Yeah? How can you not?